hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can extend your local tick local tick style without any kind of formatting formatting the tick or set up the windows or something so how we can do this so right now you see here my local hard tricks type is 7 8 gb right and i want to extend to my local hard tricks type and i want to reduce the volume d drive so i want to um, extend the local drive from the d drive so how can i do this it's really really easy to do first of all you need to go the manage and then go to the dix management and then you need to do first of all how much volume you need to reduce you want to reduce so it's really important first of all i need to reduce almost around 20 gb so click on the drive and shrink volume and then you have to calculate with mb so as we know go to the calculator and type the mb for 1 gb 1 2 4 into 20 and now i need to reduce volume with megabyte it's almost 20,418 megabyte 2480 and then I need to do the shrink click on the shrink you see here this is my shrink volume now what I need to do okay so now uh, I need to move my uh, space volume, new free space volume in my C drive. You see here, when I click here, right button, and this extend volume option is available. But when you click on the C drive, it's disabled because we haven't any free dig next to the leg local dig, right? So that's why we need to do move our free space next to the local trick style so this is our first work so how we can do this how we can move our drive free drive to our uh, desired drive of course a lot of options out there but i am going to use the s us partition master so it's really easy to use and it's completely free so click on the is use partitions and you see here the unlocated drix type is here it's almost 20 GB and here is our D drive so what we need to do we need to move our unlocated file next to our local trick drive so this is our goal so what we can do we can do the right button the D drive and go to the resize and move and you see here this is our unlocated space unlocated space and this is our d drive it's totally d drive so why we can move the unlocated file next to the first of all um, this one and then this one so we can only click and move and it means d drive move to the right side and unlocated file move to the left side click on the ok
and now you can see unlocked file it's right now located to the right left side of d drive so we are already moved so now what we need to do we need to do move this unlocated file also the right uh, left side of this one so click on this one and go to the resize and move and again move to look like this and go to the ok you can see here right now it's next to the local disk so this is this was our goal now we are create two operations because we are operated two types of operations so it was there first of all this was a number one of operations and then we are acquired the second operations and that's why it's two operations and execute the two operations if you moved one time and then it would be to one operations i have moved two time that's why it's going to the two operations so execute two operations click the apply and it takes some time it's depend on how much memory how much volume you want to move and now what you need to do you need to do again go to the disk management and you see here the unlocated file it's right now it's right now next to our next to the our local disk type so now you click on the c drive and right now you see here as you see here extend volume right now it's enable so click the extend file click on the next you see here this is our 20 gp click on the next click on the finish you see here right now our local disk drive extended so this is our goal and now we can close on the disk management and you see here 98 gb so right now our local disk drive is already extended so thank you so much for your watching i hope this video helped you to extend your local disk drive without formatting any disk drive